Are you struggling to understand the selection sort algorithm? Don't worry, you're not alone. But don't give up just yet. Today, we're going to make it simple and easy for you to understand this important sorting method. Selection sort is a simple sorting algorithm that works by repeatedly finding the minimum element from the unsorted part of the list and swapping it with the first element of that part. Let's take a look at an example. We start off with a Python list called nums that has six elements which are all integers and they're unordered. So we can see the index number that goes from zero to five. We need to find the minimum because that's the element we're going to swap. So we start with the first number, the first place, and then we find the minimum value, which in this case is one, and we want to swap them. So now one is in the correct place. We move and we can see the next minimum number, which is two, and we move to the next place, which is index one, and we want to swap the two and the seven. We move again to the third element, which is eight. We find a minimum of three, so we need to swap them. So now we have one, two, and three in order. The next, we can go on to four, which is already in place. It's the minimum. And then finally, the last two elements need to be swapped. So place four is the eight. We're going to swap that with the seven. So now we have our ordered list. So what did we do? Well, we essentially found the minimum and we moved it into the correct place, which started off at index zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. So if we use i rather than a number, we can use the range or the length of the list nums, minus one, we go from zero to four, not five. And the place, which is zero, one, two, three, four, is equal to i, we find the minimum, and then we swap the element in that place with the lowest value. Well, now seems a good time to have a break and we continue with the second half in less than a minute. We're always interested bringing students things of value, especially if they're free. So have a look at this. There is a great new opportunity for anyone interested in learning about Python or any other areas of computing. In the next year, new courses will be added to the Outs Academy and they'll be available to you for free. Written by university professors, they will be specifically designed for international students, which means they'll be easy to understand using simple language. They will even be helped to improve your English, if you're interested. How can this help you? Well, leave a comment. Any suggestions you make could be turned into a course. Motivated learners deserve equal access to opportunities. Help us to help you. Again, if we look at all of the elements at each pass, we can see there's another pattern forming. We can see that the numbers are increasingly ordered, they're sorted on each pass from the beginning. So the first pass, the first numbers in order, the second pass, the first two numbers, third pass, the first three numbers, etc. So we can say the list has an ordered part and an unordered part. So in our code, we, can, we only need to look for the lowest number in the unordered part of the list, not from the beginning, just the beginning of the unordered numbers. And then when we find minimum, we swap with that lowest place of the unordered elements. So we start off at the beginning at index zero, or in this case with a variable i, and we can move that along and we find the minimum index where the element with the lowest number is. 
So in this case, the lowest number is 3, but the place of that is at the index 4. And then we're going to swap it with i, which is the place of the lowest element in the unordered part of the list. Can you see we have the ordered part in front of the green line, the unordered after the green line. So we continue through and we can see we can complete the process with our ordered list. Now that we understand how selection sort works, let's have a look at the code in Python. As you can see, the code is simple and easy to understand. The outer loop iterates through the entire list, while the inner loop finds the minimum element in the unsorted part of the list. Then it swaps the minimum element with the first element that's in that part of the unsorted part of the list. Now that you understand how selection sort works and how to implement it in Python, you'll be able to tackle the other sorting algorithms. Although we will show the insertion sort and compare these and the bubble sort very soon. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to like. And if you subscribe, it helps us to make more helpful tutorials.